How many of you won't raise your hand no matter what I say? <laughs> okay, so I wrote down, motivation is temporary. How many of you find that to be true? And maybe you'll leave here today. It's my goal that we all leave here feeling a little bit more motivated and pumped up and inspired and grateful than when we arrived. But it's temporary. So you know what that means? It means you have to work at it every day. You know what else is temporary? Eating, bathing, temporary. So you have to do it every day. So recognize the importance of motivating yourself. So how can you motivate yourself? What can you use to trigger those positive feelings? And my goal is to walk you through a little exercise. So we have to do it consciously. And um, here's an example. Michael Jordan. How many of you are familiar with Michael Jordan? Too bad he didn't play for our team, right? I mean, the guy's the greatest basketball. And I'm not even a basketball fan. But when the finals came down, I remember sitting at home watching this guy because he was the best in the world at what he did. So there's a quote that I pulled from the Internet. And this is Michael Jordan. In my career, I've missed 9,000 shots. I've lost 300 times. I've been entrusted to take the game winner 26 times and missed. I've failed over and over and over again, and that's why I succeed. Interesting. The other thing that Tony would say, if you analyzed and dissected that quote, is it's not what happens to us in life, it's the meaning we give it. See, how many people have lost 300 times and they go, that's it? Okay, it would have been real easy for me to say, I quit. I'm done. The IRS can get a dollar from me for the rest of my life and I'm done. I'll never dig myself out of that hole. But the meaning I gave it changed everything. The meaning my wife gave, the fertility changed everything. So be conscious of the meaning you give things. Notice, change your consciousness so that when you talk to people when you leave here today, they're giving events a meaning. What meaning do you give it? Now we can choose the meaning. See, we could choose to say, well, the doctor was right, we'll never have a baby. Or we could choose that each time we got pregnant, the doctor was wrong. The choice of that meaning changes your life. So whatever happens to you in life, you can step back from it. It's not always easy to do. But write this down, please. What good comes from this? What good comes from this? Because no matter what, there's always something good.